I think until you see the mechanics, people hear the music, I think that when people have come for the first time are surprised how energetic the show is. VH1, uncut. It's really up and, and quite uh, happening, I think. It's not just playing the song simply, you know. You can mm. pull, both boys get the crowd going a lot, I think. It's, uh, it's kind of more fun than people probably imagine. Over My Shoulder was um, actually the first song that Mike and I wrote for the Beggar on a Beach album, which is our previous album. And um, it's a pretty spontaneous little ditty. I mean, I went down to Mike's house and uh, he just said, how about doing something in this kind of vein and started strumming the chords and I to the verse and I just started to um, free form over the top of it and that tune came pretty much straight away, the, the whole chorus, you know. And uh, we just left the cassette running and we went on for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so and I left that idea behind, you know, thinking, oh, I don't think you'll like that really, it's probably a bit too sort of R&B or something for him. And then um, we played the tape back and he said, well, I like this bit, you know, this bit at the beginning here. And um, so we shaped the song around that fairly self-explanatory lyric.
Now That You've Gone is a, a change for us in terms of arrangement. It's a song that Paul and I wrote, and it was could have been a straight mechanics song, but we teamed up with uh, Brian Rawlings and Mark Taylor, yeah, yes. who've just done the um, Share single, and they brought something to it, uh, which we probably wouldn't have done. They've done it in a slightly dancey way. Um, but retaining the mechanics feeling, I think, and the mechanics sort of sound and flavour. And work, for me, working with, with new guys too was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I've, known, I've known, we've all known Brian from before, but um, uh, it's just nice having a new face, a new, a new input. As the night comes down, darkness slowly descends. I'm
Whenever I stopped was the first thing that Paul and I wrote on the album. Kind of like over my shoulder, I mean, just the little simple, it's what it is, a little simple guitar sequence over a little groove, and Paul just comes up with a sort of phrase with the words, you know, the, the main phrase, and it just kind of works. Another point about this one. Tell me Mr. my story. Carrot, Mr. Carrot played guitar on this one as well, by the way. Strummy <laughs> guitar. Just no end. No end, no end to this it. guy's multiple talents. How much is he paying you to say all this? Uh, <laughs> round the back here, Paul. <laughs> I went down to Mike's house. Uh, Paulie and Mike had started writing already and they had some bits and pieces. And then I joined in. And they, they had a, a, a kind of thing. And I just 
started singing Old Rigor, I think, I seem to remember it that way. And, uh, and that was the chorus. And then we went away and worked on the lyric. And uh, we thought, oh, that's great, it's a bit retro, this. He's, he's kind of got some, you know, and then old Paulie got on the drums and... Uh, in my inimitable style. In his own inimitable style. And that, that made, just gave it this kind of thing, you know, and, and then Mike's guitars, and, and suddenly it was like a great track and, and great to sing and great to listen to. of Gold is one of the songs I sing. Um, it's a great lyric, a B.A. Robertson lyric. Um, Mike did the music for that. Um, I think Mike will probably tell you more what it's about than I can. I just sing it. 
It's a lovely idea. I mean, the image of a beggar on a beach of gold, I think, is such a great idea. You know, there's so much you have in life around you, but you can't see it because you're looking in the wrong place. Um, and uh, I think the mechanics, some of the songs we do do, and it works on stage too, are quite, um, are up songs, positive songs, you know what I mean? I think it's, it's, it's too easy to write doomy, sad things. That, that's, that's a doddle. But to write songs that have a sort of a positive vibe, I think it's quite hard. And on stage, I think we have quite a bit of that too. And this song, Beggar, is one of them.
light I need is one of three, is it? Mm. Three B.A. Robertson, Mike Rutherford compositions on this record. I, I love singing it. I love listening to him sing it. It's kind of in the, I suppose in this vein of uh, Beggar on a Beach of Gold mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. area. It's a lyric of, 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 uh, of B.A.'s. It's interesting, I think, he writes some quite difficult words, which both Pauls have sung over the years, and that, but he manages to make them they managed to make them, I should say, work quite well. It's hard to make wordy things. I read well, I think philosophy. this one, you, you actually reined him in a bit, didn't you? Yeah. On this one. Um, I mean, I think it's that? like the third draft of the lyric, because it started off quite, uh, <laughs> as a lot of BAs do, you know, quite cerebral. And I think we, we, decided, we asked him if he could just sort of bring Back it, off. make it a bit, a bit more um, actually, of a personal know, it, thing. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was Chris Neal who produced it, uh, who said, could you make it a bit, bit more emotional? Um, and uh, he kind of rewrote a little bit for the same original idea, but uh, changed some of the sentiments. And I think it was uh, better for it, definitely. It's a warmer song that way. I read all the philosophies, the theory, ideologies, they leave me cold. I've sat around the tables talking long into the night, and when we're walking home. You take me by the hand You say you understand And this is all the light I need I know we've had our ups and downs I play the fool, I play the clown Just like a man I think it wouldn't be so bad
is, I think it's probably one of the, my favourite mechanic songs. Uh, B.A. Robertson and myself wrote it. Um, and it's a very poignant lyric about losing your father. And uh, Paul sang it fantastically. And I think it was a song that, that B.A. and I kind of worried as to whether we should really do it or not. Just because it's, it's um, a delicate subject matter. And had it gone wrong, it could have been really quite crass and corny. But we sort of, we, we ploughed on, and I think uh, it's a brilliant lyric of his, and I think it, it's, um, it worked fantastically. And I think to have a song that, well, it was a big hit, which was great, but to have a song that actually affects people's lives. I was told people, you know, lost touch with their family, heard the song, rang their parents up after 10 years, you know. I mean, to have a song that has that effect on people, I think is, uh, is a great achievement. So I'm very proud of it.
Plan Needs a Miracle was uh, the very first song I ever sang with Mike and the Mechanics back in 85. And uh, at, that, at that time it was Mike's solo project. He wasn't actually yet a band as such. And he, he got quite a few singers down to try out. And um, he rang me and asked me if I'd like to go down. I went down, I put the cans on, headphones, and went out in the studio with, with a lyric sheet. And there was a backing track that just sounded so wonderful and so easy to kind of paint over. Um, and I, I came out and listened to it, but I thought, oh, that's fantastic, that. Went home, and the uh, next thing it was a hit in America, and, and we were off and running with that, you know, with another couple that we had. So it, it's quite a, a very important song for me with the mechanics.